come up. <laughs> you can ask you questions or not. You can just say a little bit about how your race season has been going and fill us in on what you've been doing. And then let everyone just ask Mark as hopefully to those questions.
doesn't actually ever have any real knee injuries, though. Um, I think he's actually controlling his knee pretty well in general. He may just be so at ease in his in his weight transfer that he's comfortable letting his knee dive in like that. It's just the path of least resistance. He's letting it move somewhere. He, it's not actually getting to the point of any damage because he skis all the time and never hurts his knees, and he probably lets his knees do that as well. When somebody does that and can't control it, it might go a little bit farther to end range and then actually cause some kind of failure. He's never really had any failure. Um, I bet if you told him don't do that, he could do that one more time and it would be perfectly flawless. He just wasn't in I see it. Discussion of what if Ryan used longer cranks? Uh, I want to answer that. I think he'd actually hurt himself. Um, if you increase the circle that he's going through, he's going to go into into greater ranges in his hip, and you're going to be you're going to be winding more structures in his low back and his hip. Um, we find pretty regularly that people that have relatively poor core strength compared to distal strength can have quite a bit of alleviation of their symptoms by shortening their cranks slightly. It might change his pedal stroke and change his torque output, but I think he would have more injuries. So would he go faster? I don't think so. I don't no. think so. How about short? Have you tried a shorter, shorter yeah. crank? I just last year we went from using 175 to 175, so. and I, you know, was, I didn't know really notice any difference. Um, when I was younger, I tried to run 180s, and I was developing tendonitis a lot more, especially my knee, because it would. Seemed like it was closing down on the knee angle and generating a lot of force into it, and it was just causing a lot of problems. And so I went back to using 175s, and um, I wanted to try doing just between the two to try and generate a little more leverage out of it, and it seemed to work all right so far. I would theorize that you could, if he was obsessive about stretching and he could change. 